What really is the issue with Nigeria's oil and gas industry? There are no new wells. Why are the companies dying? So today we'll be showing you around the Wari refinery and its current state. And we're taking it from a community called Ubeji. Hi guys and welcome to our channel. So if you're seeing our video for the very first time, you are most welcome guys and trust me, you are right in time for an amazing ride with us. So do this for me quickly. Click on the subscribe button and also turn on post notification so you'll be the very first person to get notified each time we post our videos. And to our amazing returning subscribers, thank you for always sticking with us and supporting us all the way through. So just before we get to the refinery, this is Ubeji community. And Ubeji community is an Ichakiri community located in Wari, Wari South Local Government Area of Delta State. So the blue building showing on the screen right now is the Ubeji General Hospital and um, sources have said that quite a number of times the ruler of Wari has ensured that free medical care has been given in this hospital. And talking about the ruler of Wari, I mean the Olu of Wari. Um, the Olu of Wari is the ruler of the Wari Kingdom. So Ubeji community is near the Wari refinery and um, petrochemical company in Wari. It is home to a large number of Ichakiris. Uh, Ubeji uh, also share boundaries with Ife community. So as you can see right now, we're in Ubeji roundabout. This is where the, the market is located. So as I was saying, um, Ubeji shares boundaries with Ife community. Aja Etan community, Ijala community, and then also Ekban community. And also to mention, the refinery is lying on a part of Ekban and um, also Ubeji. So, moving out of these gates, um, what we'll see next are the walls of the refinery. And just opposite these walls, you will see the NMPC Gas Infrastructure Company, and that is where their office is. In Waria is located. So the essence of this video, like I said, is to show you guys around the refinery and so we'll see the state of the facilities around the refinery. So this is the NMPC office I was talking about, the NMPC gas infrastructure company office, and um, opposite is, is the wall of the refinery on the other side. So sometime in August this year, the president of the Petroleum Products Retail Outlet Owners Association of Nigeria, that's talking about Petron, Dr. Billy Giles, had earlier revealed that the 60,000 barrel per day capacity Portacot refinery has begun the production process. Uh, but we're yet to see any changes as regards that uh, if they have actually begun and if um, production is ongoing there. While the Wari refinery, according to him, was 90% complete. So what is happening currently? So this year is um, like a Y junction uh, leading to Jedo. The other side is leading to Jedo, while the side I'm coming from is leading to Ubeji. So Dr. Billy Giles had a tour of the Wari refinery. And from their analysis, it was supposed to be a quick fix. And then he said the government and the NMPC were supposed to just go in and turn the refinery back, get crewed in and start cracking, but that wasn't the case. And um, since then, the NMPC has been in search of a private firm to operate and maintain these refineries, um, the Wari refinery and the Kaduna refinery. So right here, we're approaching Shagwalo Junction, as it is called, and this is the entrance of the Wari refinery so we stopped here and we're taking a walk inside the refinery so as you can see we're in the refinery premises so this is the worry refinery a worry refinery is one of the four refineries owned by the nigeria national petroleum corporation nmpc uh, limited for decades now and the country has four state-owned refineries which are located in port harcourt kaduna and worry and um, the lack of functional refineries has forced nigeria to rely heavily on imported refined petroleum products over the years and this has had a significant impact on the country's economy uh, not until the dangote refinery in lagos was fully built and now 
functional even though of course it is a private owned refinery which has its own monopoly so the Wari refinery was commissioned in the year 1978 and the refinery has a capacity of about 125,000 barrels per day in this complex there is a petrochemical plant that was also commissioned in the year 1988 and um, it produces a capacity of 13,000 mta of polypropylene and um, 18,000 mta of carbon black the refinery supplies markets in the south and the southwest regions of nigeria there are also a good number of Nigerian banks in the premises of this worry refinery and also there, there is also a police station right in here and as we go on you would catch a glimpse of all of that um, as we move on in this video. So from research we can see that the refinery has all the necessary utilities on site that is required for operation but then uh, it makes me wonder why it has not been in use for quite a number of time and why there have been no maintenance or um, rehabilitation of this worry refinery. So for power, there is a total installed electric power generating capacity of 125 megawatts. While for steam, the company has a power plant that has an installed high pressure steam generating capacity of 545 tons per hour from three boilers, uh, two hours units a coal boiler in the FCC units and CRU heat recovering units. Now, it has a portable water treatment plant and the, the refinery also has a wastewater treatment plant that has been upgraded and rehabilitated in recent time. It has a crude oil storage capacity of 273,600 M3 sufficient for about 14 days operations. Uh, it, the, it also has a crude oil supply to um, WIOPC, uh, which is from Escravos, uh, which is an island about 80 kilometers away from the Wari refinery. It has a jetty with facilities for fuel oil, diesel, and PMS import and export, as well as ethylene import and storage facilities, a truck loading facilities for product evacuation, and lots more. Lots more. We can keep naming and going on and on and on so this year is um a restaurant um, right here in the facility uh a nmpc owned restaurant still very functional there are people in there uh, from the video as you can see so from the video evidence there are quite a number of structures in here that look abandoned and um, non-functional for now as you can see so this is the police station i was talking about earlier uh, there are still some police officers in there as this video was being made while this is oando gas plant still very functional until now um some residents around there go there to fill their gas so this is the signpost for Dewu nigeria uh with the company um location just in front the office just in front this is it and um this Dewu nigeria is a construction and engineering company yes but um obviously right now this place looks abandoned and nothing seems to be going on around there and so this road behind the uh, refinery leads to um, Ijala and um, Ifie, which are Ishakiri communities around there that are also bounded um, by Ubeji, like I said earlier. If you're still seeing this video until now, this is me saying thank you for staying tuned. And also, if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, please do so before leaving. And also, do not forget to turn on post notification so you'll be the first person to get notified every time we post new content. So, the refinery here in Wari produces various yields of crude oil byproducts like um, LPG, uh, PMS, kerosene, AGO, and fuel oil. It has a capacity of 125,000 barrels per day, like I had earlier said. However, it has never achieved full capacity utilization as production has declined steadily, except um, the early 90s, during which there was a brief upswing in production. So guys, do let us know what you think about this um, Wari refinery, its current state. Share your views and your concerns. Let us know what you think and how the rehabilitation of this place and um, other refineries in Nigeria would also boost the economy of Nigeria, of course. 
especially after failed reassurances from the NMPC boss Mele Kiari and um, the federal government about commencement of operations uh, in our refineries in Nigeria. So do well to share your views. Tell us what you think about um, the refinery in Worry. Thank you for watching.